Hi, a good day to everyone. My name is Ranisha and today I am going to be presenting about a very common laboratory instrument called a Bunsen burner. The Bunsen burner is named after and co-designed by a German scientist known as Robert Bunsen, hence the name Bunsen burner in the year 1854. Bunsen burner is a common instrument that produces a hot, sootless, non-luminous flame used for heating, sterilization, and combustion. This instrument uses a combination of flammable gas with controlled amount of air, producing a wide range of heat after ignition. Now, let's take a closer look at the Bunsen burner and its parts and its function. Now, part A is known as a barrel. It is 5 inches long to raise flame to a suitable height for burning. Part B and C is collar with air holes. It helps regulate the amount of air that enters the burner. Part D is known as the gas inlet, whereby natural gas enters from gas tap. Part E is known as the gas valve, which helps control the flow of gas inside the Bunsen burner. Now finally, part E is known as the stand, which is to ensure all the pieces are not in contact with the work surface. All these parts are extremely important to, for the function of the Bunsen burner. Now, let's take a look at the principle of Bunsen burner. So once the Bunsen burner is connected to a source of fuel such as methane gas, Bunsen burner can be ignited with a spark. Incoming gas reacts with oxygen in a 1 to 3 ratio to produce a blue flame that comes out of the top of the barrel which you can be seen at the picture there. Adjusting the gas valve on the Bunsen burner changes the volume of gas flow. The more gas entering the burner, the larger the flame. The collar at the base of the barrel contains air holes to control the amount of oxygen reacting with the gas. The collar can be rotated to adjust oxygen intake. In general, the more oxygen present, the more intense and blue the flame will be. Less oxygen leads to a weaker yellow flame. The more oxygenated the blue flame is, more hotter and more controlled it is than the oxygen deprived flame. Scientists generally prefer a controlled blue flame. It is also important to know how to adjust a Bunsen burner when in use. So firstly is to increase or decrease the amount of gas flowing into the barrel to change the size of the flame. Secondly is to increase or decrease the amount of air flowing into the barrel to change the type of flame produced. Now, let's take a look at the different types of Bunsen burner. There are three different types of Bunsen burners found. The first one is the standard Bunsen burner, which is usually used in laboratories and is the most common type of Bunsen burner. The second one is known as a Kirill burner. It is a subtype of a Bunsen burner that features a wing nut at the bottom of the tube for gas adjustment. And thirdly is known as a maker burner, which is a radical subtype of Bunsen burner that is designed to produce extremely hot and stable flame. Well, finally, let's take a look at the advantages and disadvantages of using a Bunsen burner. The Bunsen burner has many advantages and disadvantages when it comes to its users. The advantages are is that it can reach up to a temperature as high as 1500 degrees Celsius and it can be used wherever gas is available such as coal or natural gas. The burner also comes in many sizes and hence we can choose any of any of any sizes of our convenience and it is also extremely easy to handle and finally we can also use it for not only heating but also for simple glass blowing work. The disadvantages of using a Bunsen burner is that controlling the temperature at its desired level is not easy. There is always a risk of fire hazards since they produce an open flame and burn at very high temperature. And hence, always be careful when using them to prevent potential accidents from happening.